Hi guys, I'm Randy and today on BRS TV we're showing you how to step up your Kalkwasser dosing game by adding Red Sea trace colors, minor and trace element solutions to your tank supplementation approach. Today we'll discuss what the Red Sea trace colors program is and show you how to couple it with your Kalkwasser dosing based on how much fully saturated caulk you dose to your tank. Maintaining the major elements like calcium and alkalinity is widely known to be the backbone of a stable and thriving reef tank, and many reefers easily accomplish this by one of a few ways, including water changes, two-part dosing, calcium reactors and caulk washer, or saturated lime water. However, there are some reefers who desire to take their major element supplementing to the next level by adding a source of minor and trace element supplements like the Red Sea Trace Colors. Since Red Sea has tied the trace elements to the calcium consumption in the tank, we can easily adapt this approach to the dosage of caulk washer based on how much fully saturated caulk you use in a single day. This approach makes a lot of sense because presumably corals are consuming trace, minor, or major elements in very similar ratios to each other, which means you should be able to more accurately match your specific tank demands as opposed to other all-in-one supplements. Each component of the Red Sea Trace Colors is designed to specifically target certain colors and metabolic functions in your corals. For example, in the Trace Colors A supplement, there are main elements of iodine, bromine, and fluorine, which Red Sea states are halogen elements that act as antioxidants and oxidative agents in the soft tissues and mucus layers of the corals that reduce possible coral bleaching. Along with that, bromine and iodine are said to be related to pink chromoproteins. The Trace Colors B bottle include lead elements of boron and potassium, which they state plays an essential role in transporting coral nutrients, including those provided by zooxanthellae within the soft tissues, related to red chromoproteins, and also play a role in aragonite formation in the coral skeleton. Within the Trace Colors C is a complex of light metals, which are reported by Red Sea to play fundamental roles in metabolic processes, including respiration and production of energy, chlorophyll, and photosynthetic catalysts. They precipitate into the coral skeleton as a reservoir for use in the soft tissue and are related to the green and yellow chromoproteins. Finally, the Trace Colors D component, which is a mix of 18 trace elements with main elements like silver, gold, vanadium, and tungsten that participate in different metabolic processes inside the coral skeleton and tissue. The elements in this final Trace Colors bottle are reported to be related to blue and purple chromoproteins. So how much do we need? The Red Sea Trace Colors comes in a smaller 4-pack of 100 milliliter bottles or individual 500 mil bottles. For smaller tanks under 100 gallons or more who may use less than a half a gallon of fully saturated caulk washer in a single day, the smaller 100 mil bottles may be best and could last you upwards of a full month. Those of you with larger tanks who may have larger demands for fully saturated caulk washer, like over half a gallon or more per day, or for those of you who like to stock up, the larger 500 milliliter bottles of each trace color component is probably the more economical choice. Let's take a quick look at what comes with the trace color, starting with a four bottle package of 100 milliliter bottles that also come with a limited use dropper that holds up to three mils. If you get the larger components, each individual 500 milliliter bottle comes with a measuring dosing cup with a section that measures doses up to 50 mils and one with graduations up to 4 mils. There's a couple of methods that Red Sea suggests for dosing the trace colors program to your tank, such as testing for each lead element like iodine, potassium, and iron, which come in the Red Sea Trace Colors Pro Test Kit, then calculating your specific dose based on your daily or weekly trace element consumption rate. However, we find it's easier to follow the approach that ties the trace element dosage to your calcium consumption. For this method, we use Red Sea's directions of dosing one milliliter of trace colors for every 20 parts per million of calcium level raised in a 25 gallon tank. Using that math, we determine that for every 0.61 gallons of fully saturated caulk washer you add to your tank, you would add one mil of each trace colors component A, B, C, and D. It's as simple as that, and most likely reefers will opt to dose the trace colors once a week rather than every day, in which case, say you go through about four and a quarter gallons of fully saturated caulk in a week, which is about 0.61 gallons per day, you would dose seven mils of trace colors. Let's talk about using Red Sea Trace Colors in the long run with some ongoing tips. As I talked about earlier, you can use the Trace Colors Pro Test Kits to offer you a clearer picture into your main elements like iodine, potassium, and iron levels, and if they need to be slightly increased or decreased. Alternatively, you could also send in an occasional ICP OES test to get an idea of where your minor and trace elements are and use that info to make any necessary adjustments to level out any imbalances or perhaps conduct a water change to deplete levels that may be elevated. And finally, these solutions do not address additional major and minor elements like magnesium or strontium, which will have to be managed independently. 
Hand dosing Red Sea Trace colors is likely the most prominent way reefers will dose the tank, and providing an accurate dose may be a bit easier with graduated syringes like these 1 mil and 5 mil. Along with that, these syringes are broken down into 10 graduations between each 1 mil dose, which can really help you divide a single dose if you're in between our recommendations. Although hand dosing may be the most popular approach to dosing, for those reef gear junkies out there, you could dose each bottle of Red Sea Trace colors using an automatic doser like these ones with four heads from Kamor or GHL. Thanks for watching, and if you have any more questions that we didn't answer here, feel free to give us a call, send us an email, or hop on a chat. See you next time on BRS TV.